this is Jules, and I'm gonna go over our first Mythic Soul Render kill. I'm trying to commentate over it and give you just a general idea of the strategies and things that are going through the back of my mind as we're going through this kill. I'm gonna try to minimize as much pausing as possible, but no promises. So here we go. Okay, so one of the first things we I learned on pull was that as a prop warrior, so I'm I'm the prop warrior and my co tank is a blood death knight. As a prop warrior, um, I do way too much threat on the pull. So instead of like charging in and going all out with as much damage as I can, I am intervening the other tank, try to take some pressure off him off the start. Uh, in this pull in particular, because we were so close the previous pull on damage, I said fuck it and just uh, went all in on my damage on the pull. Luckily, between Trix and Mr. X, I didn't pull off the other tank because that would screw things up. But here we go. Flesh crafting. Five, four, three. And then we're e intervening the other tank. And then popping my potion, and here we go. Four, three, two, one. All right, Moonblade goes out. Torment's coming. I'm looking towards the back of the room, seeing where it's at, and calling it out. All right. So first thing here, ads are coming out. I am positioning here and looking towards the back of the room. I'm trying to see where the overlord spawns because I want to take the boss not on top of the overlord because brands will be a problem then, but get him kind of close so that any uh, any incidental AOE or cleave from the overlord goes on to the boss. A little extra padding damage. All right, so he's right here. I'm going to try to take him as close as I can while not being directly on top. So like some of the earthquake stuff and stuff is all gone. Alright. Once the, you see the overlord kind of get low, he's at like 40% right there. Taking him on top of the other ads for AoE. Mail of countdown here is for chains group. So this is Chains Group 1, and then Torment's coming up. I'm looking towards the back of the room. Grabbing him back for after Ruin Blade. I know ads are coming out soon, so I'm positioning him to make that easier for me. Overlord's coming out. Try to position him pretty nicely close to the overlord. Okay, here, here we got really lucky on this one because the skull ad, uh, it got broken late for CC, and its cast almost got off, but we we recovered. So. Uh, So it can't be CC'd right now. Luckily, the Overlord goes down. We interrupt it and bring it in. All right, something I'm also watching. Five, four, the the dance timer down here. Two, one. I'm waiting for these cones. Four, 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 four. I'm watching this dance timer right here. Because once it's close, I got to take him to the back of the room so we can get a little few extra seconds of, uh, of DPS time. It's right about here. I'm taking him back. Turning towards the back of the room. Something I don't know a lot of people notice, uh, the puddles. So the puddles show up where the cones are going to be. So it, you can kind of use process elimination. Like, you can kind of see puddles on here, puddles here, puddles here. So it's probably going to be one. 
And it's one. Room blades going out, grabbing him. Ads are coming out again, so I'm positioning him and looking around, trying to find where the Overlord is. Right there, okay. Boss is kind of far away on this one, but that's okay. I'm waiting for Five, Blood Decay to start four, grouping stuff up. Three, two, there it goes. Three, 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 three. Alright, second change group, this is me here. I'm on the third one. So the way we do this is we pop healing cooldowns and do one and two, then three. So there's the first chains. Second chains, I'm watching health, see if it's stabilized. Five, uh, everybody's pretty four, good. Three, Pop third two, chains. One. Here comes the torment. Two, 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 two. Ads coming out. Looking for the overlord. Right here, okay. Third chains group coming out. This is the the first tough over uh, overlap. Five, four, three, two, one. Torments coming out. Okay. One, 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 one. Two. I am in such a rush to say this one because I realized my mistake here. Uh, so torments coming out. All right. Using process of elimination, I can see it's not three because of the puddles. I can see it's not two because of the puddles. I turn my camera a little bit to see if four is clear. It's not. So process elimination means it has to be one. That's why I am in such a stress-induced uh, tone here when I'm calling out one. I realize I'm calling it late and trying to compensate for that. Again, watching the dance timer because it's about to go off, so I gotta pull him to the back of the room. Kind of late, so we might get an extra cones phase here. And it's at this point in back ahead, I'm like, okay, everybody's alive and we're at 35%. This is probably a kill. Sorry, my headphones turned off there. Chains group. I tried my so damn hardest to banner on my leg our affliction warlock. I literally intervened to him, standing on top of him, pop banner, and I don't even get him. Wait for the torment. Two. Overlord damage is kind of slow on here.
Chains five. five. Four. Everybody Three. still alive. At this point, we're we're past chains five, and everybody's alive in the back of my hand. Okay, this is a kill. Make sure you do everything possibly right. So again, ads coming out. Looking for the overlord. There it is. Okay. Five, four, Trying to take three, him on top. This is change group six. Oh, that's a good grip. Trying to watch dance timer here. Yep. Five, Take him to the back of room. Get a few extra seconds of damage here. And here's... I make a critical mistake here. And I try to compensate as much as I can. So, if you can see the timers here, I'm looking at the dance timer. I'm like, okay, dance timer's coming up. But cones is actually coming up right before dance timer. I'm assuming it's dance timer. So I'm taking him five, to the back of the room. Five, three, four, three, one, two, one. And in this moment right here, I realize my mistake. And I'm like, oh shit, okay. So I'm looking around. It's not one, it's not three, and it doesn't look like it's two. It looks like it's gonna be four. My voice gets increasingly stressful as I realize the mistake and try to compensate. Dance, dance, dance. And because I screwed up the dance, we're not going to have uh, extra DPS time. Fuck yes! I'm letting this play this out. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you learned a couple stuff. Um, and hopefully, we'll see you in the next one when we kill Painsmith. Take care. Bye.